Hey guys, what's up? So this week I wanted to film a 2020 favorites and I know we're already into February and a lot of you guys are probably like, this is too late, but I still think February is still like the beginning of the year so I think it's totally fine if I see any favorites videos, like yearly favorites videos in my subscription box so I thought why not just film one. Today's actually Valentine's Day. I've got no plans, but um, yeah, I just wanted to film this video because it's been on my list for a while and I was like, you know what, it's actually not too late, so I'm just gonna go ahead and film it. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first category is beauty favorites. Also, my hair is wet, so that's why I may look a little crazy, but the first category is beauty, so... The first thing that I'm going to start off with is this, and you guys are probably like, um, Moksha, we've known about that for like a while, we already know it's a really good product, but you guys, I haven't tried Aquaphor until the end of 2020, so I'm still going to include this, because it doesn't really take long to figure out if a lip balm works for you or not. Yeah, basically what happened was I bought the Laneige lip sleeping mask, like the original, I think it's called like Berry or something. And I bought a little sample size and it like my lips were so messed up from that. I'm pretty sure I just got a messed up one because I've never heard of this product being bad for people. So I'm pretty sure I just got like a messed up um, little pot of lip balm. But it like destroyed my lips and it was horrible. So I had to throw that out and I was like, okay, I need something to fix my lips. And I was like, people always swear on Aquaphor. So I'm going to buy it at Aquaphor because I used to love the Nivea one but I don't see the one that I like anymore in stores like I don't I just no, don't see it the big ones that are in stores now is like either EOS or Vaseline like I don't see the Nivea ones anywhere and if there are Nivea ones it's like the newer Nivea exfoliating stuff or like tinted ones that Nivea is coming out with and that's just not the one that I want so yeah and I don't really trust like or like not trust but like i just the other brands don't work for me like eos or vaseline or chaps chapstick is that is that chapstick's brand right okay anyways or what's the other big one that drugstores have oh burt's bees yeah i know burt's bees is a big one that like everyone loves but for some reason it just doesn't work for me so um the tinted ones are great but like the clear ones that come in like the plastic chopstick tube that's that stuff doesn't work for me so um i was like i'm gonna try aug four and guess what it worked it fixed my lips and i don't wake up with the dry lips or itchy lips or anything and it works great so love that and the next thing is first aid beauty face moisturizers because i have eczema it sucks but i have it so um I want to say like when when was it when when yeah winter was starting because I remember I had to come home from university for winter break so when winter the season was starting like I had really bad eczema on my eyelids and nothing would fix it all the creams that have helped fix like not fix but like temporarily fix eczema on my body all those cre creams just weren't working for me anymore so then i was like you know what there are two brands that i know that uh, people who have eczema swear by and that's first aid beauty and glad skin but glad skin was like a little above my budget so um i'm sure it works and i'm sure it's great but it was just like too expensive for me so um i was like i'm gonna try first aid beauty and guess what it it worked but like i put it everywhere i put it all on my face because i don't get like eczema patches anymore i used to but um i still obviously get like just normal dry skin so um like all around my mouth so this really works to get rid of all of that and like i still have it on my eyelids it, it works slowly but it works and it doesn't itch or any like it's great i love the stuff this is definitely not a cure for the eczema on my eyelids but like it temporarily worked and like you know what that's good <laughs> like obviously i'm gonna keep looking for products i'll probably 
try glads can next but um i'm gonna try looking for products that'll officially just like take away my eczema but for now this is this worked okay and I appreciate it for that. So if you have eczema or just severely dry skin, because I have both, usually if you have eczema, you have severely dry skin, but um, I highly recommend First Aid Beauty. The next thing is bio oil. So bio oil is mainly, mainly used by pregnant women for stretch marks or like whatever pregnant women get on their bellies, like. I wouldn't know but it says it it says it here and even skin tone just dehydration on the skin scarring you know anything like that but though I don't really have that like I do have stretch marks but they're not that noticeable I, I used to use this basically in middle school my mom got it for me like she got a little sample size and she would put it on my face I don't know if that's like what she should have done but um Again, I have eczema, so like in middle school, my eczema would be, it was really bad in middle school, so she tried to use this for my face, because my face was always so dry, and it probably, I think it worked, so like, in hindsight, it's fine, because like, I didn't get any breakouts or anything from this on my face, but I don't know if you're supposed to put this on your face, but anyways, um, but when winter came around this, or not this year, in 2020, I was having a really hard time with like my body just being so dry like everywhere it was dry everywhere and obviously if you're like dry in your arms or your legs you can just use lotion but in some more sensitive areas I don't want to use scented lotion just like on my stomach and stuff like I don't I don't know why but I just don't feel comfortable using like scented lotion so uh I was like, I'm going to try bio oil, and guess what? It worked. And I would also get like just really dry, itchy skin, and I could feel it when I was sleeping. It was just, it, it was so bad. So I would, I, I would get like on the side right here, and just everywhere. I had dry skin everywhere. So this, this really helps with that, and it smelled so, so good. I love the scent of bio oil and then the next thing is these little aoa blushes aoa studio blushes i bought these online and oh my god i love these so i bought one i think it might have been like two years ago but um then i bought one again this year and i love these so much they're like so cheap and they just come in these little square little containers i don't know um i'll be your style and they have a bunch of colors they sell out so fast but this one is in the shade charm it's like a hot red but it doesn't really you know if you blend it out you'll be fine but yeah there's just a really cheap alternative to like glossy cloud paints or any any cream any expensive cream blush out there just they're just a really cheap alternative and I think they look really good and they're so easy to work with and yeah love this stuff the next thing i have three more things in this beauty category the next three things are um hand cream you guys there is a difference when you put on hand cream every night on your hands you can see a difference you can see a difference so the one that i'm using is actually just this one that my mom got but she never used so i took it oops but like now she has another one that she uses like she actually uses hand cream now which is nice and she it's like from a good, good brand but yeah this was definitely supposed to be for her but i just kind of took it because she never used it and even if i stopped using it and i put it aside for her to use she just never used it so i just kind of took it back and um it smells so good it's from l'occitane and it's the it's just the hand cream it's called creme mains cream mains i don't know but it smells so it's like their limited edition holiday holiday scent and it smells so good it's nice and thick but it's not like painfully thick where you can't rub it into your hands or anything it yeah just any sort of hand cream i highly recommend 
And speaking of hand cream, I have another cream, but it's for your feet. I hate feet. I hate looking at people's feet. I hate, like, I'm someday I'm going to have to get a pedicure, and that day will um, probably be my last. But <laughs> it's, yeah, I can't. But at the same time, I need to, because if I don't moisturize my feet, it will be so crackly and ugly. Because you can, you know when you're, like, you can feel when your feet are, like, just in a super bad state you don't even have to touch your feet to know it's like you'll be walking on hardwood floors barefoot and you're like frick my feet are dry as hell so um this is the soap and glory heal genius foot cream and it smells good and it works well and i try to use this every night i pretty much do but there might be some days where i just get too lazy so yeah but i don't i'm not the type of person to put on foot cream and then put on socks and then like take off the socks in the morning and then yeah i'm not i know a lot of people do that but i don't do that i just put on the foot cream and then i go to sleep and very last thing is a major throwback so this is a perfume that i used to use in middle school again and i kind of like hate it because it reminds me of all of the middle school memories and i just i hated my middle school i hated everyone in my middle school it's just so Oh, such a horrible time, but um, this scent just smells so good and it's called Eco Revert by Rue 21. I know, I know, you're like Rue 21, but you guys, it just smells so good and I don't even know how to explain the scent, but it just, it's like fruity maybe and like I don't know I don't know I don't know how to explain it just like fruity and summery and citrusy a little bit I don't like citrusy scents but like a little citrusy and it just smells so good and it's not like it's the best perfume ever in terms of like how long it wears but um, it, it wears more than a body spray but not as much as like a designer perfume so it's just kind of floating around in the middle there but it just it smells so good I had to include it but yeah, I haven't used it that much because I don't really leave the house, so yeah, but it it's there and I love it. It's not that expensive, so I highly recommend and I'm glad they still have it. Okay, done with beauty people. Let's move on to the next category. So next category is miscellaneous. So first one I wanted to give a shout out to is my hamster. I got my hamster in 2020 on September 12th and love her. She's the best. She's the cutest. Love her. She's helped me with the men my mental health a lot and like she just, oh, she's, she's so cutie and I just, I love her so I don't know what else to say. I just freaking love her. So I'll put a picture of her or a video of her or something like a cutaway because she's sleeping right now so I can't show you but she's the cutest. And the second miscellaneous thing is I found a new all-time favorite can for you guys. Um, My first all-time favorite is Sweater Weather by Bath & Body Works. I love that scent with all my life like I don't know if, oh man I, I love that scent so much but I found another one from Voluspa called Mokara and I know it kind of sounds like my name it kind of sounds like my name um this is not like my favorite packaging that this candle has come in because there's so many other types of packaging that this candle comes in like there's this really beautiful white glass packaging that it comes in and i really want that one but it's so expensive voluspa is a pretty bougie candle brand but it just smells so flipping good um i wish they had the notes on here but they don't <laughs> it's this coconut wax bougie parfum it literally says that just a, just a great scent i don't know how to explain it but i'll put the notes up here because it's great it's so good okay um 
Okay, next category. Those were my two miscellaneous. That's four. This, those were my two miscellaneous. <laughs> of these two apps i have really really cut down on my fast fashion purchases you guys and that's great so yeah love vintage and depop the pieces are also just more unique and there's some great little boutiques to shop small business and support small businesses and like these earrings are from Vinted and they're from a small business which I'll put up here and her packaging was just so thoughtful and so cute and I think she also gave me a free like extra pair which is great so like that love that about shopping small there's just more thought that goes into it and I'm also selling on there um, the only thing that I don't like is if you don't have an influence on there it takes so long to sell your clothes so i'm honestly thinking of just like taking down all my listings and just s taking all my clothes to play with closet because um it just it takes so long and my these clothes have been sitting here in my room for so long and it's so annoying to be honest and so i just want to get these clothes out of here so that's the only thing that i don't like about minted and depop is that like to of course there's a lot of random people that come by your account but like to persuade people to actually purchase the items it's really really hard but yeah those are my two favorite and then my third one is libby this is how i've been listening to automa automa all of my audiobooks because i'm not gonna buy a subscription to audible or scribd so libby is great for that because it connects you to your local library so you're supporting your library and of course you can rent out books for free so they don't have just audiobooks they have other stuff another app that's similar to that is hoopla but i just use libby more because they just because if you're connected to the same library, it's like it doesn't really make a difference what which app you use. And I like the setup of Libby more, so or like the layout of Libby. So yeah, so those are my three favorite apps. Next category is movies. I when quarantine started, I have so many movies on my list to watch. So when quarantine started, I was like. I need to um, get going on this list. I actually have um, a, pho a photography account and on the photography account I have highlights where I post about anything, any art related things so I'll post people who physically make art or different forms of art like movies, books, shows, like anything, you anything. So I have a reel in there for movies okay so some of my top favorite movies that i watched this year i've watched a lot but my top favorites would probably be 500 days of summer because i'd never watched that before and i watched that in 2020 and then I'm, i definitely want to re-watch that but that was a really good one i think i watched i tanya in 2020 as well that was an, one of my other top favorites and then before sunrise and before sunset i still have to watch before midnight but those two are like that series is like one of my best discoveries in 2020 i love those movies so much and i think yeah i think i watched parasite in 2020 so that yeah that one is probably like my top like my first favorite and so that's all the movies that i watched in not all the movies but like those were are my top favorites in 2020 that i've watched so yeah, I'm not going to go into the summaries of like each movie, but pretty freaking great movies. So I highly recommend. Next category is books. So I'm here sitting at my MacBook because I'm a dumbo and I didn't press record when I was talking about my books. But I believe I said that my top three favorites were Dear Evan Hansen, Such a Fun Age, and oh, I forgot. I forgot what the last one was. Let me check. 
really hope you can hear me because the last time I tried to record on photo booth without like a mic it didn't pick up my voice so let's hope I got it this time you know what I wish I had started a Goodreads account earlier that would have been nice I don't even remember what I said like how can I not remember my top favorite book Oh, did I say we were liars? It might have been we were liars. It might have been that. So, those were my top three. I believe. I definitely remember such a fun age and Dear Evan Hansen really making an impact on me, but I don't remember. I think it was we were uh, anyways, let me just check out my audiobooks too. This clip is already one minute long. Yeah, I, I think those were all them. So, yeah, those were, I think those were my top three. Peace out. Favorite TV shows. But yeah, I did watch Normal People in 2020, so that one is probably my top favorite that I watched and then When They See Us was really good sorry now I'm looking on my reel to see what shows I watched Baby ended in 2020 which is like one of my top favorite shows as well so that was I, really, I didn't start watching it in 2020 but I think I started watching it in 2019 but it ended in 2020 so honorable mention for that oh how can I forget? My top two were probably, or no, but normal people was really good. I don't know, but Schitt's Creek, so good, so good. I love, love Schitt's Creek, and who doesn't? But yeah, love that show. And Peaky Blinders, probably my favorite show that I watched in 2020. It's so good, like everything is so good from acting to the filming to the script to just costume design like it's so so good i'm so glad that killian murphy's an actor because imagine if he wasn't like he has first of all he has too gorgeous of a face <laughs> like there's some men that are just pretty and like timothy chalamet and Killian Murphy's one of them and there are other men who are like handsome or like cute or adorable but like there's some men that are just straight up pretty Jesse Williams is another one but he, he's just gorgeous I could stare at his face all day and after I finished watching the show I watched a YouTube video on why Killian Murphy is just such a beautiful human being like literally this guy went into like the anatomy of his like face structure and all that and incredible show i highly recommend is that all the categories i did beauty i did apps i did movies i did books i did miscellaneous i did tv shows okay the last category is not really favorite but i just kind of wanted to mention what i learned in 2020 so i feel like a lot of people learn like oh i just need to like take it slow and it's okay to like rest once in a while and like not do anything and not feel bad about it blah 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 which is great, love that for you, but that's not really something I learned. I've known that for a while, um, so, which doesn't mean that I've always just like, um, justified being lazy or something, that's not what I mean, but I just, I, f I just feel like that lesson came to me like super early, and like, p part of it is because of my mom, she's really instilled that in me it's like if you cannot do it in this moment because you just and you like and you just want to like rest like it's okay just rest and like get back to what you need to do so yeah i've, I've known that for a while but actually what i learned in 2020 there's this um interview from 
Keanu Reeves where he's like I've come to this point in my life where I just don't argue and you could sit there and say that one plus one is five and like just have fun with that because I don't I don't really care like I'm just not gonna argue about that and that like literally changed my that was like so mind-boggling to me because I'm like the type of person I don't I don't think I argue that much like I, ju I just think that whenever I do argue I can get like really really like heated in my mind and I, I may not always know how to like vocalize my feelings but like in my mind like I know what I need to say and I know how I'm feeling I've always been like a chill person so you wouldn't think that kind of way of being can like come for me but like it, it does when people like say something to me that just really really for lack of a better word triggers me like I get so pissed but yeah after I watched that interview I was like shit he is so right like at this point if people are saying stuff to me that I know isn't true about me or if I know that they're not having a good day and if they're just projecting that onto me like I don't give them the time of it time of day it said I would rather just stay quiet and like not say anything back because it's just not worth it and um and this is not something where I'm talking about something like super serious like of course if people are gonna come for me and be like you're never gonna become successful you're never gonna like achieve anything in life blah 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 like obviously I'm gonna defend myself when it comes to serious things like that but for other things if people are just being really petty and they're projecting that onto me because of something that's going on in their life that where they're really stressful and irritated and they bring that onto me then I just like I'm just like you know what it's whatever so that's that's what I learned in 2020 is that like just don't give people the time of day no matter who it is to be honest like even if it's people really close to you just it's it's just it's think about it and know that it's not worth it especially if it's for a small little petty thing so I know it can be really really annoying to experience that in the moment it's really shitty because like th those people are treating you like shit but just know that something is probably off in their lives or um they have a lot going up here so they have a lot to say out of here it's, it's more to do with them than it is to do with you so that's that's all i have to say about that Bye.